Good morning, guys. Um, let me show you something I've come into possession of here. These are uh, these two collections of lithium ion cells in form 18650 cells are combined together and they form a 60 volt, 24 amp hour battery for an e bike. My neighbor crashed his e bike recently and doesn't want to pursue doing that anymore, so he was wondering how to dispose of the batteries. And uh, they're only about three months old, so uh, of course I helped him out with the battery disposal problem. I've already started um, taking one of the cells apart or one of the battery packs apart very carefully and um, they're all tack welded together and they're kind of hard to get apart but uh, they're coming apart okay and then I smooth the cell over with a, a file or maybe a, a Dremel tool depending on how much residue is left after I remove the uh, the spot welded um, zinc strip but in order to combine these batteries into something useful for ham radio, I need to connect them together in series and parallel in a similar manner in which they already are. So let me show you what I bought to do that. I'm uh, really impressed with the effectiveness of it and the low price. Okay, here is the product. And no, I'm not a salesman for this. I'm just demonstrating something that I've bought and am happy with. And you'll hear a bit of noise in the background. That's the battery analyzer. You can see it in the background to, off to the left. I'm testing a, a three cell pack of the battery cells that I just showed you. I don't have a battery protection circuit on it. I've just kind of spot welded them together to see what the capacity is at a given current draw on the, uh, on the analyzer. But anyway, here's the uh, spot welder. It charges from a USB port. And comes with these 10 gauge, um, I don't want to call them probes, those are the tack welding uh, parts, the business end of it, instructions. And here you can kind of see the comparative size of the welder. Here's the charging port right here. Um, to turn it on, we press and hold that. And it has 11 different power levels. I'm in level three right now, indicated by these three dots. I can scroll through four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, back to one, two, three. Three works well with uh, the cells that I'm using and the zinc strip. This comes with 0.15 millimeter zinc strip. I don't know how long of a piece that is, maybe 12 or 15 feet. I've already already used uh, probably a foot of it. But you can buy these in 0 0.1, 0 0.15, or 0.2 millimeter thicknesses. And as I said, these are 0 0.15. And I'm going to tack weld a piece of this onto a battery, a sacrificial battery, just to show you the effectiveness of the, of the spot welder. All right, let me get set up and we'll do that. Okay, I've cut a piece of zinc strip here and uh, put the probes in. Probes, they're not probes. Keep calling them that. Power up. The zinc strip is a little bit longer than I need it to be, but I want enough room to grab it after I've tack welded it to the battery just to show you how strongly it's on here and I'm going to be on power level 3 of 11 which I learned quickly is sufficient I started out I think at power level 8 and I'll show you I'll show you what that does but anyway we're at 3 now as you can see by the three dots and I will lightly touch here and here and here's the result the zinc is pretty warm. But man, it's on there. It's really on there. Alright. Let me turn the power level up and show you what I did when I, when I first received this. Four, five, six, 
seven, eight. Okay, now I'm on eight of 11. Quite a bit more powerful. Let's go all the way up to 11. I think that's it. That may be 10, but anyway. It almost goes all the way through the zinc. I mean, it's on there. Okay, that was 11. Try it again at 11. Scared the daylights out of me the first time I did that. And then I backed down about two steps at a time and uh, ended up at power level three being very sufficient. I mean, you can see when I first put the, uh, the first two spots on here at level three, I couldn't pull it off. I mean, I would need pliers to get the thing off. And that's just with two, two places welded. So to assemble the pack that I did right here, I don't want to move it too much while it's being discharged. But um, I put two different welds on, which gives me four spots on each, uh, each part of the strip. And that's at power level three. So uh, anyway, I think this thing was like $48. If I had it to do over again, there is a version of this one that's, I think, $20 more. The only thing different about it is right here on the front, front panel, it has a, a, a screen that shows the power level digitally as well as the temperature and the state of battery charge. So um, I think I would splurge if I had it to do over again and get that one. It's by a different brand, not Kerpu, but CC or CSI or something like that. I'll put a link in the description. But uh, I think I would buy that one instead of this one. But this one is perfectly adequate. Um, I mean, not only these have I put these three packs together, but I did a few others as well. I made a, a two-pack, and then I did just one with zinc strips just to get alligator clips on it so I could measure one or two cells individually with the battery analyzer. But uh, anyway, I like the cells. I'm getting about 3.2 amp hours of capacity from them. So... Um, I'll probably make a battery pack for my ICOM 705 and then maybe another one to power the laptop. I'll have to find out what voltage that is. I think it's 18 volts, so it would take quite a number of batteries to make something of a given amount of capacity. But uh, anyway, so much flexibility with these things. But I think what I'm ultimately going to do is I'm going to buy a different form factor of lithium iron phosphate cells which each cell is a little under 4 volts, but 6 amp hours of capacity. So um, I want to buy a number of those, enough of those to give me basically a, a bioeno equivalent battery of about 24 amp hours capacity. And um, I think I can do that cheaper than I can buy a completed battery. But it's fun having the ability to, um, to assemble whatever capacity cells I want out of all those that I got for free. So that was uh, that easily justified the $50 purchase of this. Anyway, that's it. That's how it works. It works beautifully. Thanks for watching and 73.